ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு லீன் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் லெசன்ஸ் ஃபார் பீப்பிள் ஹூ ஹேட் ரீடிங் வித் மீ ஆனந்த் இன் அவர் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி லுக் அட் செவன் வேஸ் ஆஃப் லீன் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் இன் அ வெரி நோ ப்ரீஃப் வே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி கோண்ட் இட் லுக் இன் டீட்டெயில் ஆன் திஸ் செவன் வேஸ் அண்ட் லெட் சி ஹவு டு நோ ரெடியூஸ் தீஸ் வேஸ் இன் யோர் ஃபேக்ட்ரி அண்ட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வேஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிண்ட் டு டாக் அபவுட் இஸ் த ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் வேஸ் பட் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் இன் டு திஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் வேஸ்ட் லெட் அஸ் லுக் அட் வாட் இஸ் அ வே ஒர்க் அண்ட் வாட்ஸ் வேஸ்ட் ஐ மீன் ஒர்க் இஸ் சம்திங் பட் தெர் இஸ் எ ஃபிசிக்கல் ஆர் கெமிக்கல் சேஞ்ச் இன் த ப்ராடக்ட் அண்ட் வேஸ்ட் இஸ் வென் அவர் தெர் இஸ் நோ சேஞ்ச் இன் த ப்ராடக்ட் ஸோ கமிங் டு ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் வென் அவர் வி ஆர் மூவிங் த ப்ராடக்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் பிளேஸ் டு அனதர் இட்ஸ் கால் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் அண்ட் டியூரிங் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் த ப்ராடக்ட் ஜஸ்ட் நோ சேஞ்சஸ் த லொக்கேஷன் தெர் இஸ் நோ ரியல் வேல்யூ அடிஷன் தட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இன் த ப்ராடக்ட் தட்ஸ் வை இட்ஸ் கால் அ வேஸ்ட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் the 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 components are moved from the raw material stores to the uh, production area then after product produ- production is over the components are moved to the finished goods storage and from finished goods storage may be no transfer to the you know the delivery yard so whenever there is this transportation there is no real value addition that happens in the product that's why it's called a waste then how can we reduce the transportation for example by creating a layout in such a way that the product flows from one operation to another that's a uh, that's a easy way to reduce transportation earlier people used to have a process based layout that is all the drilling machines will be in one area all the grinding machines will be in one area uh, there will be a lot of work in progress which gets accumulated and the component have to be transported in a forklift you know or they may need to have a you know conveyor to transport and all these things you know add up to the waste but how can we reduce all these things by converting a process based layout to a product based layout where the machines are arranged in such a way that the product flows from one machine to the another we are going to talk about the single piece flow you know uh, in detail in the later videos but this is one way of reducing the transportation the second waste we are going to talk about is the inventory inventory is classified into three types that is uh, raw material stock then the work in progress or the wap which is present inside the uh, factory floor and the third one is finished goods stock raw material stock and the finished goods can be purchased or sto- stocked according to the industry's requirement for example there are some companies where they work with mangoes you know they they extract the pulp and they they sell the mango pulp mangoes are not available throughout the year so they don't have a choice you know they have to buy the mangoes only during the season time and they have to stock, stock it and uh, so that they will be used they will be able to use the mangoes for the rest of the year and uh, there are some companies where they operate on a very seasonal you know business for example air conditioning unit manufacturer and their peak sales comes in summer only when if they start producing during the summer time they will not be able to serve the market so what they do is they uh, uh, start manufacturing you know even during the winter season they, they stock it you know in their downstream operations like sales you know they are they are distributing you know uh, centers their warehouses everything will be full so that they will be able to meet the customer demand during summer so what we understand now is the raw materials and the finished goods can be stocked depending on company's you no know, requirement but the work in progress which is the biggest waste and this is present inside the you no know, shop floor where it, it creates a lot of problems like you no know, it's very difficult to account it takes a lot of space it creates a lot of transportation you know, there are some companies where they have you know people dedicated to count the inventory and uh, product there is a risk of obsolescence the product let us say there is a change wap you know everything becomes obsolete so uh, wp is one uh, you know big issue which a- every company faces and uh, there are ways to reduce it again you know establishing a single piece flow is a is a best you know way to reduce wp the third waste we are going to talk about is people movement or motion whenever people move inside the factory you know uh, it doesn't have any you know value addition to the product for example they they move the material from one place to another you no know, along with the transportation they also move to search for tools they to bring in some you know jigs and fixtures so all these you know people movement are termed as you know uh, motion and there are many instances where people used to bend or people used to you know climb people used to you know uh, uh, store the materials in the floor so they have to every time they have to bend and you know lift it people movement or motion is a waste how can we reduce the uh, motion waste that is by designing the workplace in such a way that people need not have to move and the fourth waste we are going to talk about is uh, waiting uh, whenever material waits for men or machine whenever machine waits for men or material you no know, whenever men wait for machine or material there is a waiting happening and uh, the next waste we are going to talk about is over production when the company produces more than the customer's requirement it's called over production for example the company require you know uh, gets an order of 1000 numbers and they they 
plan to produce let us say 1050 you know just to make up for the you know rejections or rework which happens and this 50 numbers is an uh, over production but this is not the only over production that happens in any company there is another one where the internal suppliers are producing more than the internal customers demand for example let us imagine uh, there are three processes a b and c and uh, the cycle time of uh, process a is let us say one minute per piece uh, cycle time of process b is two minutes per piece and the cycle time of process c is one minute per piece and after an hour process a will complete 60 pieces and b can do only 30 pieces per hour so what they do is they take this 30 process it and send it to the next operation so what happens is between a and b there are 30 pieces waiting so a has overproduced no uh, than what what is required by the customer that internal customer that is b and b has produced 30 numbers for an hour and b has given 30 th those 30 numbers to c c can produce 60 but c has produced only 30 because for one minute he is working the next minute he doesn't have an input so what it means is c has waited the next waste is over processing uh, whenever there are redundant activities which happens in uh, which happen in a company it's called over processing those redundant activities customers are not, not going to pay there are instances where you know the components are counted multiple times you know at, at the input as well as the output stage there are uh, multiple in inspection happens in you know many companies so all those things are you know accounts for over processing waste and we we can easily reduce those waste and the uh, last one is the defects whenever there is a defective product which is produced i mean there is a lot of time and effort in, involved in fixing those reworks and making the component you know uh, acceptable so uh, this is called you know uh, the defect waste quality has to be improved to reduce the defect so that you know overall you know uh, acceptance the first time acceptance uh, ratio increases so these are the seven ways recently they have added one more ways which is called the unused potential or unused knowledge of people in the company for example there is a, a new person who joined the company and he is let us say working in a, in a machine but this particular person has a skill you no know, or knowledge of creating you no know, uh, wonderful presentations or excel sheets you no know. he has a good analytical ability but in this current job he, he or she is not using it this is a waste and uh, how can we you know tap this unused potential for you know the betterment of organization these are all the seven ways and in the next video we will be talking you know more about lean manufacturing and you know we will talk about the single piece flow in detail and how it reduces or how it eliminates a lot of these wastes and how it can improve the overall productivity of the organization and question for the week is what is kanban please give your answers in the comment section if you like our videos please subscribe to our videos and also click the bell icon so that whenever we post a new video you will get a notification and see you in the next video thank you